people who have witnessed things they will never be able to explain. What was it, exactly? Home alone and walked into a little alcove between two bedrooms unoccupied to shut off light as I was going to bed. Flipped switch decorator type, it made the little clicking noise as it hit it and light went off. I'm walking back through the kitchen towards my bedroom on the other side of the house and hear a click and light and alcove came back on. I literally heard the freaking click. There is no is either on or off. House was built in 1995 in no weird history that I know of. I cannot think of any possible explanation for it. It scared the crap out of me. My girlfriend and I were downstairs. Family was away at various things I think my mom and dad were gone for the weekend, but my brother had play practice. Heard my brother come in the door and walk around. Shortly after I went upstairs and drove my girlfriend home. Going back home I noticed his car wasn't there, so I called him and he said he was still at play practice. I sat in the kitchen where you enter the house for an hour in silence. My grandmother lives across the street, I assume it was her dropping off a dish but I didn't ask and never confirmed, so. My grandson rolled a ball across the middle of the living room floor and it went under a rocking chair. This was the kind that sits on a flat base and has hinge rockers. It never rolled out the other side. We looked, it was gone. My daughter and I both saw it. We searched everywhere for that ball. It was just gone. Like, a year later, I find it in a basket on the kitchen counter. This was all at my parents' house. They both were badly impaired by dementia, and had no idea where they found it. I'll never know what happened to that ball. I was standing on the seaside walkway with a bunch of other people watching the sunset. A red orb came speeding down the coastline at like 50 plus 150 meter altitude. Didn't think much of it until it instantly stopped and speeded back the way it came until it was out of sight. No noise, too low for a plane or helicopter and was in a flare because it was flying fast, stopped instantly and then flew back the way it came. Several people saw it but this was before mobile phones with cameras were a mainstream thing. I was visiting a convention that was hosted by a very old hotel located in Litchfield, Connecticut. Was told it used to be a nurse's convent. After I retired in my room for the evening, Around 11.30 before I could fall asleep a weird orb flash of light flickered brightly in the corner of the room near the ceiling. There are no lights in that part of the room. The next morning I told the concierge at the hotel check encounter of the experience. The lady's eyes glimmered and she responded with oh, which room? One night while being very stressed and anxious trying to fall asleep in my bed, what I thought was my PC screens at the foot of my bed turned on illuminating the room. I sighed with annoyance and sat up and opened my eyes. There was a white orb with a blue hue around its edges just hovering in place. Everything was super quiet like I've heard called the Oz effect I think it is. After a few seconds the orb collapsed in on itself and all the light with it. I went upstairs and slept on the couch that night. My friend told me on his first month as a firefighter and training his crew or called out the caravan trailer site. Caravans in the UK are noted being made of highly combustible material. They found the caravan entirely intact and locked from the inside. When they broke in they found charred human remains on the floor. Neighbors had seen flames through the window. There were no flammable liquids or accelerants present. They concluded it had to have been a case of spontaneous human combustion. My wife, if you will. Sometimes she'll say so and so has been on my mind usually a family member and she'll call them so see if they are okay. She calls, and the response is some variation of I've been through 30 trauma, but how did you know? There was no communication between them. No second-hand contact via others just boom feeling call revelation. I've seen the same pattern repeat five or six times over the years never understood how she could know. A tree fell in front of us while we were driving. It almost killed us. Moments later a group of men dressed in nice clothes just happened to have chainsaws in their car, that was black and black tinted windows. They started cutting up the tree. We quickly turned around and said nope. I tried to tell myself that it was just Mormons who happened to have chainsaws in the back of their car. I called my mom the other day to see if she still remembers that incident and she does. The giant felines around my house are one of them. At first I thought these were bobcats, until I saw a giant yellow-orange tabby walk in front of the vehicle. One of the cats who lives with me is 15 pounds at a healthy weight, and this cat seemed like he or she was at least double his size. This cat would have stood about 2 feet tall at the shoulders. At least one and a half feet if my memory serves me well today, but under three feet I think. Worked at a dive bar which used to be a roller disco in the 70s. One night I unplugged the three pinball machines in the back, and as I was walking away one of them started going off, paddles hitting, clanging, 
etc. I looked down and confirmed all three were unplugged, then ran like hell and locked the door behind me. The next day I told the owner who said that sort of thing has happened there since he bought it I'll never understand what happened. Not nearly as spooky as some of the stories here, but I'll always remember Walmart freezer lady. We were shopping one evening, and my dad and I were waiting past the tills for my mom, when this lady walks out of the ice kiosk. No one else seemed to see her, she didn't say anything, just walked out of the freezer. Needless to say, dad and I had some explaining to do since we were laughing so hard. To this day. I don't think mom believes us. In a mall, I approached an ATM. It was activated with the card inside. No one had been near that ATM for a while, because we were walking down a straight corridor for some time toward it. I walked up to it and noticed an account was loaded, so I got a balance. The account had over 900,000.00 in it. I did not take any money, retrieved the card and turned it into a coffee shop to hopefully be returned to the owner. It was very strange. Not me but my parents were driving along a dual carriageway in Nottingham in the last 1970s. A whole, frozen chicken fell from. The sky. Hit the bonnet and bounced off. They could never fathom how it happened or where it came from. No bridge it could have dropped from and it didn't come from a vehicle in front as it came from above them. They talked about it for years. Was talking on the phone to my dad in the garden, about 15 years ago. Saw an orange light slowly come up over some trees behind my house then take off straight up at a ridiculous speed. Stood there in silence and so did he. Explained to him what I'd just seen and he said he'd just seen the exact same thing. He was over 100 miles away in Manchester at the time. At a lake in the Appalachians, camping. Saw these bright circular flashes, bright and quick like a flash bulb but shaped like an eclipse. It kept happening directly on the window of the camper. Would have been happy to have written it off as ball lightning but I keep seeing it every so often as I'm falling asleep. Still don't know what to think of it. When my mom, sister, and I'd visited Paris, we took a cab to our hotel and all three of us vividly remember the cab driving under through the Eiffel Towel. We then learned that isn't even possible. The most logical explanation is that we were all just exhausted, but it's so odd that we all remembered the exact same thing. I was in a national library. The biggest in my country when I was about 14 years old. I loved dinosaurs. I was reading a book about velociraptors when I heard the velociraptors call like the ones in Jurassic Park. I looked around and saw that no one noticed the sound. I was scared and puzzled but that's about it. When I was a kid in the 80s, someone stole all our family's bicycles out of the backyard in the middle of the night and replaced them with brand new bikes. We were solidly working class so this gift was a pretty big deal. My parents have no idea who did it and 40 years later no one is fessed up. An orange construction cone tipped over in front of me while I was zooming down the highway and I had to slow down fast in order for me to not to drive over the cone and potentially damage my car. The drivers beside me and behind me all thought I was crazy. It was some final destination SHT. It was the late 80s and my brother told me there were little people living in my room. I moved my raggedy and all off my bed and there was what looked like a bunch of little batteries, like hearing aid batteries underneath and I watched them scamper away. I never saw them again. My coworker and I both heard a voice come from the area around the ice machine kitchen job. We both distinctly heard it say our names. Simultaneously, we each heard our own name. We always joke about the kitchen being haunted, but that one made us both go what the fuck. My mom picked me up from the airport one night and on the way back we saw a green light hovering in the air. After a couple minutes it just shot straight up and disappeared. No idea what it was but I'm not an aliens or spooky ghost guy so possibly a drone or something. Was on a chairlift during a night skiing session when a friend and I spotted a couple stars moving sporadically. They were fast and moved in all directions. I know for certain no plane can move that fast and change direction in an instant like that. Still can explain it. My sister marrying that idiot. She's smart, educated, and kind to everyone. He's a moron and an a-hole. Even missed the birth of two of their kids, once while in jail and again cause he was shacked up with someone else at the time. I have never understood it. I once saw someone sitting beside my friend while he was in a cab going the opposite direction. So did my other friend standing next to me. But when we gently inquired, the friend who was in the cab told us he was alone, save for the cab driver. My husband and I once saw a man fishing on the banks of the Shenandoah River in V alongside a fully outfitted mannequin. I mean fully outfitted the dummy was wearing waders, a hat, and holding a fishing rod in its outstretched hands. I could have sworn I saw a dead person being dragged off the road by another person. 
I almost hit them with my car. I was so shook I drove right to the police station to report it. They followed me back to the scene but there was nothing. Family was out of town. I came home to an empty house late at night after work. Suddenly I saw a fireball in the dark sky fly across the windows. I called my family in the non-emergent police line. No one knew what I was talking about. A voice sounding like my friend's sister calling out his name from a tree line in a park. Me and friend were walking home near the middle of the night. Both of us heard it. He was called out three times. In the early 2000s, in my mom's Dodge Caravan, the digital clock ticked to 760 for a full minute before moving on to 800. Never happened again, but my mom and I both saw it. A light in the sky was following me wherever I walked and this thing was fast. So I dipped back home right quick because it legitimately bothered me. I can't explain it. Don't know how to articulate the things I've witnessed. Also the government wouldn't like it very much and would land me in prison. I once found three burnt matches on my kitchen counter. I lived alone and had never lit a match in my entire life and did not own matches. I swear my daughter could read my mind when she was like three years old. I would be thinking something and she would just say it. Freaky. I will never understand how Trump was elected. Or even taken seriously for even a minute. Does that count? You want people to explain what they saw. When it's something they will never be able to explain. The type of order and technology the US military can commence on someone is mind fucky as fuck. Mind blown. How I gag brushing my teeth, but can hoover a cock like a prom queen in the back of a Datsun.